this. A nano SIM card and a SIM card extraction tool. So here. And the phone. The phone on the left side. Okay, first on the right side, you can see the button here. This is the power button. Okay, and on the opposite side, on the left side, you can see volume up, volume down. And there is a little hole. And in this hole, we have to penetrate now using the SIM card extraction tool and press until the SIM tray is coming out a little bit. Now, yeah, pull it out as you can see. And here it is, the SIM card tray. Now, let's have a SIM card here. This is a nano SIM card. The nano SIM card is the smallest SIM card which you can use on smartphones. And we have to enter it in this tray. You can see this rounded edge and there is the same, okay, on the negative part. And then we will get this SIM card in position. That it is. Now we have to enter the SIM card with the tray into the iPhone while it is running, no problem. Then we have unlock, we have to unlock it. And of course, we have to enter a SIM card uh, pin. This is the second pin you have to, no, the third thing. The first uh, is you have to enter a password or um, for your face ID. The second is your um, your Apple ID password. On the third thing is the SIM pin. Of course, a SIM pin you can deactivate later. So now enter the SIM pin and then we can press OK. Now the SIM card will get information about your network. And then we can go to um, have a telephone call or go mobile with your phone no problem but first let's go to settings in settings we can go to mobile data so here you can see some messages are coming no problem uh, because it works uh, we go to mm, mobile data see so you can see mobile data then mobile data you can switch on or off if you like then roaming. Roaming is to um, get in other countries, like your own country, and have data traffic. No problem. You can enable it, disable it. You can use 5G on, 5G auto, or 4G. In the past, I had some problems. If I'm using 5G automatic way, my, my, my phone calls were stopped automatically after a couple of minutes. So I switched to 4G, no problem anymore. But you can choose data mode, standard or other modes. Then you can use it as a personal hotspot for another phone. Network um, selection, my case is Vodafone. Um, Wi-Fi calling, you can switch on or off. Wi-Fi calling is if you are, um, have no network, mobile network, you can enter into a Wi-Fi and call about, uh, with this. Calls on other devices when nearby. Mobile data network, network provider services. This you can use to have special provider services. SIM pin, in this case, you can change that the SIM has um, no pin anymore. You can set up this. The SIM applications and app data plan. Everything is possible here. And if you're going to go with the electronic SIM, you have to go add a data plan. Then you will get from your service, from your SIM service, electronic SIM card, that will give you a data plan and then you can position them under the camera and you can scan the QR code from the network provider in the frame here. And then you have an electronic SIM. Let's cancel this. That is possible to have two numbers on one phone electronic SIM and the nano SIM. Two numbers in one phone. That's awesome. Awesome device, easy to handle and in good quality. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Sun Sun.